In this final step where we're going to cover foliage, we're going to use the foliage tool to get some more rocks, some of these boulders around the scene. So let's get stuck straight into that. So I've got my foliage tool on. I need to make sure that I have no tick in the grass and no tick in the tree. And then I'm going to add my rock to the foliage tool. And then I'm going to select this to make sure that I can work with it. So what I've turned on is static meshes because I do want to be able to paint on top of. And in fact, I'm going to turn on foliage because I want to be able to paint on top of other boulders if I want to. To kind of layer these up. Okay, and then what we need to do is just work on some of these settings. So the density is going to be set to 10 on this one. The radius can stay at zero because I want these to intersect. The scale we're going to set from 0 0.8 up to 2 to get some nice variation in the sizes. Okay, the Z offset this time around we're going to have going from minus 200 to minus 50 so I want these to intersect with the ground like I did with the rocks earlier this time I do want to align to normal that's quite important to me because I want it to kind of follow the slope of the terrain I want a random yaw I'm going to set a random pitch angle so I want lots of random going on in this so I'll have a random pitch angle of up to 90 uh, the random slope angle will also up to 90 that's all good and then we're also going to make sure that we have a collision turned on we're going to put block all in there okay so before I do anything else I'm just going to go to save all because everything is still crashing on me okay and then just for a bit of a test we're going to put some rocks kind of behind the cabin somewhere so about here so I'm quite happy with my brush size as it is so I'm just going to click once um, yeah, that's, that's kind of nice, I think. So I've got a bit of um, a bit of variation going on, and I could, if I wanted to, click there again. Um, or click around there, and it would start to layer them up. I don't really want that, so I'll undo that. But now, as I kind of go around, I can add... So I want to just add some rocks kind of here, and maybe there. So I'm just going to place them certain places around the scene. I've got to be careful not to touch the trees though because I, I've got the ability to paint on foliage turned on so I could feasibly paint on top of the trees which I don't want to do. So just at kind of regular sort of intervals wherever I like, oh there we go, I hit a tree there. Wherever I like the look of putting these rocks that's what I'm going to do. That's not a very good aim there Shane, there we go. So I'll put one there. Oh yeah, no. No, that one's gone through the tree. So you will have to be very careful with this. Um, but it can just add a bit more variation to your level, just placing these in and around. Let's put some up there. Oh, nice. I'll have some there. In fact, I'm going to put a few up and around there, I think, because I kind of like that area. Um yeah we'll go around that bit as well let's just turn brush size down we'll put some in there some there we'll have some going up around there so have some fun with this um and don't be afraid to let these rocks intersect one another because it will kind of add a little bit more variety to your level so i'm just going to leave that kind of there i think for now uh, and I'll just have a, a check of this by playing it first of all I'm going to save all again just in case of any more crashes okay so let's check this out so now I've got a lot more kind of bouldery rocks in the scene and the collisions are on I can jump on these if I want I can run over the top of some of them so I'll have to jump over but that's added a lot more sort of visual interest, I think, to what was a really flat terrain. So I'm quite happy with that. I think I'll leave it as it is for now. So, have a bit of fun with that. What you might want to do now is just clean up. So you might have some grass intersecting your rocks that might look weird. So you might need to delete a few instances of grass. 
you might want to change the placement of some of your trees you might want to delete some rocks put some more in get this looking so that you're really happy with it before moving on in the next step we're going to start looking at performance so things that we can do in the editor to scale the performance up so make things look better make them look worse uh, make things perform faster make them slow which is kind of good timing for me because i'm just crashing all over the place um, but that's what we're going to do going forward we need to kind of know how that works before we move on to lighting and effects so this has been emotional uh, i'll see you in the next step where we make things run faster thanks for watching if you really want to take your learning further than I can cover in this series, then I highly recommend checking out Pluralsight. They have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using Unreal Engine 4. When I learned how to use Unreal a couple of years ago, this is where I went, and I log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills. I recommend checking out the Introduction to Unreal Engine 4 course by Joshua Kinney. This is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's got to be worth a free trial though right? I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.